Welcome back to Trading Learning 101. Today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a glimpse and show you my daily routine as a day trader. I put some thought and time into this video and I hope that this video is able to help you and motivate you in developing a successful routine that you can come up with to achieve success. Let's jump into it, everybody. Let's take a look at my old routine. When I first started trading, I would roll out of bed, run to my computer, and immediately get going. I would not be 100% focused. I was rushing. I would slam energy drinks and five hour energy shot. At the time, I was feeling good, but as time went on, I started to realize and feel it catching up with me. Performance was mediocre. I was not taking this seriously, as a job and as a profession. I have a passion for what I am doing and as time went on, I started to develop and change as a trader and as a man. I started to realize and put myself in other people's shoes. Highly successful and smart people do not have this routine. They have a routine built for success. As I was progressing as a trader, I started to read a lot more in my life. Trading books, psychology books, emotional intelligence books, human nature, human behavior, daily routine books, anything related to the stock market and self-development I am always trying to read. I highly recommend checking out and reading The Power of Habit. This is the book that started it for me. And as I was progressing and reading all of these books, I've noticed they all say the same thing. It's the same boring routine over and over and over and over again to achieve success. Some other great books to get you going, Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas and the new Trading for a Living. Here are some more book recommendations that have had a huge impact on my life. Super Trader by Van K. Tharp. This book right here is my all-time favorite book. All-time number one. I cannot preach to other traders enough. If you are struggling with your emotions, your discipline, you want to develop a routine and be a successful high performance trader, you have to read this book and keep it by your side and reread this book over and over again. I promise and I guarantee you will find a lot of great tips and it will change the way you think and how you view the stock market. What I took away from this book that has made a big impact on my life was the saying, we do not trade the stock market. What we trade are our beliefs about the stock market. And this book really makes you think and ask yourself questions. Other great books is The Disciplined Trader by Mark Douglas, Fooled by Randomness and Atomic Habits. Growing, as I was getting deeper into my trading career, I myself wanted to start changing my life for the better inside and outside of the markets. I wanted to start eating healthier, sleeping better, dealing with my emotions as a trader. This is a big area many people fail to work on and face. Working out, improving my focus, attitude, and outlook on life. All these areas I wanted to improve in my personal life as it will carry over into my trading. My new routine. This is my daily routine right here. At 8 a.m. Eastern Time, I wake up. Then from 8 to 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, I drink a glass of water. This is the first thing that I do in the morning to help get all of my organs up and running and hydrate myself. Then I eat breakfast, egg whites, and oatmeal every day. Then from 8.30, to 9 a.m. Eastern Time, it's pre-market setup. I'm setting up for the trading day. What stocks do I wanna watch and keep an eye on? Then from 9 to 9.25 a.m. Eastern Time, I meditate and stretch for five minutes. I like to meditate for 20 minutes to help clear my mind, get into the zone. That way I can start fresh, 
I have an open mind and I've been meditating now for just over a month and I can honestly say I see a difference in myself and in my trading. Meditation is not for everybody. People have different beliefs about meditation. Some think it's bad, some think it's good, but for me, I think meditation is great. It's great for the mind, the body, and the soul. Then from 9.30 a.m. to noon, 12 p.m. Eastern Time, I am in the stock market. By 12 p.m. Eastern Time, my trading day is done, no matter what. Then from 12 to 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time, I take a nap. Then from 1.30 to 2.30 p.m., I go for a walk and reflect on my trading and reflect on my thoughts. I like to try to take a walk for an hour every single day. If the weather is bad outside, then I will stay in and I'll do push-ups or sit-ups and do some more stretching. Most of the time, no matter what, even if it's raining out, I will go for a walk. I love going for a walk every single day. It really helps to get the blood flowing in your body and you're actually able to open up your thoughts and your mind and reflect on your trading, the stock market, reflect on your thoughts and how you were feeling, helping manage your emotions. What were you feeling at those moments? And doing this every day helps improve yourself dramatically. You'd be surprised. Then by 3 p.m. Eastern time, my trading day is done. I have the rest of the day to do other activities or chores. I was working a full-time job from 3 p.m. to 2 a.m. Eastern Time, 11-hour days, all while learning to be a trader. And when I worked a full-time job, I was working six days a week, 60 hours a week, running off of five, four hours of sleep every night. It's sacrifice. You have to sacrifice things in your life if you want to achieve success. And one thing that helped me that I kept telling myself, do I want to work for somebody else's dreams or do I want to work on my own dream? And that is the sacrifice that I had to make outside of my other job, my full-time job. I had to make sacrifices to do what I wanted to do. And over time, I stuck with it, kept going and going and going, and I was able to achieve it. And I'm still achieving what I want today as I keep going. That's the whole purpose of life is growing, evolving, trying to be the best person that you can be. Leaving behind a legacy. That's what I want to do. Then every night I try to read for 30 minutes to one hour before bed. My day is done and I am in bed asleep by 2 a.m. Eastern Time every night. Six hours of sleep is all I need to function and reset. Everybody is different. Some will say you need eight hours of sleep to reset and have a good night's sleep. For me, six hours is all I need to get a good night's rest and reset my mind. And I also take an hour nap every day. Sleep is very, very important. And it's like I said, everybody's different. Some may say that all they need is six hours of sleep. Some people will say they need seven hours. Some people will say eight hours. Heck, I know some people that say they need at least 10 hours of sleep. Everybody's different. Develop a routine, the power of habit. Sit down yourself and draw up your blueprint for success. Be specific and give your routine thought from start to finish. All the books and big successful people all do the same boring routine every day. It's consistency that will pay off. At first, your routine will suck and you won't want to do it. Give it at least 30 days. They say for your brain and body to adjust to a new routine, it takes 30 days. Other helpful tips, cut junk out of your life, it only weighs you down. Drink lots of water. We are on our phones all the time. Have rules in place so you don't let your phone rule your life. Social media, as a trader, 
I have learned to use social media to my advantage to grow more as a trader and start changing my life. I went through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and deleted all the toxic people in my life and people I don't talk to or stay connected with. A question I asked myself when deleting people and groups was, does this benefit me? We are surrounded by energy in life. When I look at my phone and all I see is hate, complainers, this is going to affect my current state of mind. Would you want to wake up and the first thing you see is someone complaining about life? Instead, I want to see motivation, inspiration. So I follow people that I look up to and people that inspire me to be better. The power of questions. Always practice asking yourself questions and answering those questions in your everyday life. You'd be surprised what you learn about yourself. More great books. The Power of Innovative Thinking. Focus. Emotional Intelligence 2.0. All of these books that I've mentioned in this video are very great books and audiobooks. I highly recommend checking all of these books out. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more great content. What are your thoughts and opinions? Do you believe in the power of routine? If you would like to see more videos related to psychology, emotions, I will leave a link in the video description to my playlist. I have created many videos on psychology, emotions, discipline, human nature, not many people work on these subjects. They think trading is easy and it will come naturally. Trading is one of the hardest jobs you will do in life, but it is very rewarding when you put the time and effort into it. Again, thanks for watching everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you were able to take away some helpful tips and tricks from this video. Maybe this video inspired you to start up a new routine and change your life. If I could reach at least one person with this video, I consider that to be successful. And the reason I am making this video is because I've come a long, long way in my life and I am happy with what I was able to achieve and what I'm still working towards. I can see the greatness and if I can help somebody else change their life, that's just awesome. And if I can do it, you can do it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button where we all grow as traders and investors. Until next time everybody, have that patience, have that discipline, and study, study, study. Later everybody. Most valuable commodity I know of is information.